So if you're not good at math, don't freak out, don't worry. Don't hold off on applying simply because you're scared. Apply, go for it. It's gonna happen. <laughs> this bitch gonna make me. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm bringing another cashier video. And if you're new here, I've been working at Publix for a while now. I was a bagger cashier and then customer service associate. I'm currently in the pharmacy, but I've been pretty around within like the whole cashiers and the money and dealing with a lot of money. So I wanted to share my experience here with you guys. I have dropped a few videos pertaining to this. They're usually on my Publix playlist. And I would definitely suggest you guys check it out. I saw a lot of people clicking on it. I saw a lot of people commenting on it. And I was like, let me bring back another edition because why not? So before we get started, if you guys could please like, comment, and subscribe, I would truly, truly appreciate it because we're on a road to 5K. And in today's video, I'm practically just going to be talking about common questions I get asked on how a cash register works, okay? And what it's like to be a cashier. So I just wanna start off by saying that every single place is different. Um, I have gotten a lot of people tell me, oh, I'm gonna go work at Dollar Tree. I'm gonna go work at Walmart. I'm gonna go work at Target. I'm gonna go work at Nike. And that's amazing. That's awesome because here on my channel, I strive to get all my subscribers a job. I wanna see you guys all do better. This is not about me. This is not about you guys simply contributing to what I got going on, I try to contribute my knowledge and help you guys do better in your day-to-day -day life, okay? That's me, I'm a genuine person and I, I, I know you guys are more than capable of obtaining these things, right? So I wanna say congratulations if you are looking at this video, it's probably because you thought of applying somewhere or you did or you're nervous and don't be nervous, I got you, I got you and there's a lot of videos I have here that will help you and um, all these right now, I know is also a big one that people have been telling me um, that they've been getting hired at and that they want to know how to use the cashiers. And I do do, I do do, I do say that the cashiers can be slightly different simply because I've seen how the dollar store brings up certain things or I've seen how Walgreens brings up certain things. And I know our systems can be a little different. But the main gist of a cash register is going to be the same, okay? So here we go. Let's break it down. Let's start off with, obviously, your cash register is where you have your money. By the time it's time for you to start your shift, usually there's already money in the till, okay? The till is where literally all the money is being held, okay? It's the metal thing. And then you have your little metal box around it that protects it. And the, it connects with the system. That's why when you, like, press the amount of money, the the till opens up, right, and can give them change if they paid with card or whatnot. I mean, if they pay with cash and whatnot. Now, one of the biggest, biggest, biggest questions I get as a cashier is, does the system calculate the money for you? And this is a huge one, all right? The answer is yes. So if you're not good at math, don't freak out, don't worry. Don't hold off on applying simply because you're scared. Apply. Go for it. It's going to calculate it. So if the total of this person was $10.97 and they give you $20, the system will calculate the exact change. This is not mathematician shit and you have to calculate it in your head. Nope. This is the system will do it for you because that's why they pay $1,000 cash registers and for us to stand there behind them and just service the customers okay that's that's just the truth so don't worry about that the only time i would say to worry is if you click a different amount than what was given to you so basically if you don't know how cash register works um there's options when you click the cash button and it says did they give you a 20 dollar bill a 40 a 50 a 60 um and you can also input a specific amount if they gave you like 30 dollars, and that's not an option you can input that but sometimes people have clicked the wrong button they click oh, they gave me $40 instead of, you know, the 20 that they actually gave me. And that's okay. That's when you can do the math in your head or pull out your phone and calculate it or call a customer service associate. I always tell people all the time, if you can do it in your head, that's fine. But if you're having some type of complication or struggle with the money, just ask a customer service associate, ask them a manager, ask someone who's on top of you because they'd be getting paid the big bucks for them to just sit there and see you fail. Like you don't wanna fail because the thing is if you're missing a lot of money in your till, you can get suspended, you can get fired because that's not like, 
a joke at all. Like you're dealing with someone else's money and they take that very serious. So instead of you risking that, just go ask somebody. Even if you do the mental math, ask someone and don't feel pressured by these customers. All right. Another really common question I get is people asking me, what do I do with produce items or items that don't have a barcode? So there are scales in most registers that will weigh out like uh, they'll weigh out the grapes, they'll weigh out the, the bananas. And I've seen this in Walmart as well. And Walmart has a pretty similar system to Publix because they're both just genuine big grocery stores. I know Walmart's a little bigger, but they still run around the same thing. And you can search it up um, if you do the self-checkout or if someone's ringing you up. Literally, they can like weigh your bananas and tell you how much it is because everything's like by pound, weigh your apples, weigh your grapes, weigh, weigh your kiwi, your peaches, everything. So that's something that I would definitely say is, is cool to know because I think people think that it's, you know, by apple. Like, okay, an apple is $2. This person has five apples. It's $10. And it's not like that. It's by pound. All produce items or anything that doesn't have a barcode is by pound. And, for example, bakery. If you see something without a price, you're not there to just put a price. You have to go to the bakery, see how much it is, and then come back and do that. The cash register is super cool because there's a lot of features on it. You can input a price, you can correct a price, you can give something away for free if the if it corresponds to that person to give it to be for it to be given as free. You're not just giving free stuff to your friends. And I did a video on this on how to obtain free stuff at Publix, and basically that's through the Publix Promise, and I explained all that in that separate video. So I'll make sure to link it at the end of this video. But yeah, you can alter prices. You can scan in a new barcode, things like that. So I think the cashier register is something, or the register itself is something that you definitely want to get familiarized with because it just, it has a lot of features and it makes your life easier. Another common question is stamps, or maybe that's not such a common question, but this is something I want to touch base on because I seen customers come up to cashiers like, hey, where can I purchase stamps? And everyone's so quick to send them to customer service. And I get it. You know, you're a cashier. You don't know what you're doing. Send them to customer service. Customer service doesn't get paid much more than you, but they have a higher position. So I guess you're like, you know, whatever. Let me just send them over there. Technically, they can get stamps from you guys as well. The stamp code, okay, is usually like five zero zero zero, okay? Um, or you can ask your manager what the code is at your store. Stamps can be... Um, like $10, $15. I don't know now because I haven't bought stamps in a while, but they do come like in a little sheet like this and a whole sheet has one price. You can't sell them individual stickers. I think a whole sheet has like 10, 10 or 12 and it costs what, like $20, $10. I think it's $10. Um, so honestly, guys, that's a big one. You can sell stamps where you're at. You can do EBT where you're at. You can do coupons where you're at. And I know you're probably like, okay, Patricia, great. We can do them where we're at, but how the heck do we do them? So at this point, if you have any questions on how to do any of that, let me know because I'm trying to see what you guys know so I can better off give advice. EBT, pretty standard. And sometimes they have pamphlets in the drawer that let you know exactly what items are EBT and what items are not EBT. But um, the, pay, the person definitely needs to have an EBT card with them in order to qualify for that. Another thing is coupons. Um, are they using store coupons? Are they using their own coupons? And all that, once you educate yourself on which coupons they can use and which ones they can't, then it's up to your discretion to see which ones you scan in and stuff like that. Um, obviously, you have to scan what we permit. But after that, if you feel like they're giving you an extra coupon then you can tell them no or you can call a manager if you're feeling a little bit uncomfortable um another very common assumption maybe or like question people have is how the money is organized so i don't know if you guys have ever seen the till before and it's so similar if you used to play these games as a child like personally i did so i actually want to get a till and show you guys physically but basically everything has its own compartment the ones the fives the tens the twenties and then there's a big bill compartment where that holds your fifties and your hundreds and your checks this is another really big one. I know they're all like big ones, but these are important things for you guys to know. We do accept checks. So sometimes people are gonna come in and pay with a check and that's perfectly fine. We accept them and they go in the big bill compartment, but you have to import it into the cashier a different way. I would strongly suggest you take notes when being spoken to. Ask you know, your managers how to do all these things prior to 
getting a, a, a case scenario. That way, when you're put in that position, you don't have to hold up the whole line, hold up the customer because you don't know what you're doing. Ask ahead. There's plenty of times that the store is dead and you can ask a question and just better orient yourself before it even happens. So that's the money. And then in regards to the cents, you have your, your pennies, your dimes, your nickels, your quarters, and that all also has its own compartment. But yeah, for the most part, everything's pretty organized and everything kind of have its has its own spot. So I would just say to try to keep it like that, try to keep it organized. A really big mistake that I commonly see is that sometimes when people are putting away the money, they put the five in the dollar bill compartment. And then when you're giving someone their change, you reach for the dollar bill compartment and now you're giving away a five. And that's how your money starts getting confused and switched up. So I've done tips like i've done separate videos on tips on how to become better cashiers and stuff like that i would strongly suggest that you watch that but i guess my biggest tip overall when dealing with lots of money is to be organized okay keep your money where your money goes keep your area clean don't have distractions around you you're dealing with a lot a lot of money you have to stay focused but the computer will do the math for you so relax you got this you know you have to believe in yourself when you don't believe in yourself you tend to tense up you tend to perform a job worse than what you really could have done simply because your feelings are taking over you know don't don't do that you have to believe in yourself you have to understand that thousands of people do this a day okay millions of people do this a day why would you be any different right so i'm gonna go ahead and end it with that if you guys have any questions please let me know because i don't understand sometimes what exactly y'all mean when y'all say we're struggling on the cash register clarify it to me so i can help you guys because i'm here to help you guys okay i want to see you guys do good and i know you're capable of it so with that being said i'll see you guys in my next video thanks so much for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye